Hello and welcome. This is Solaris X and today I'm going to show you how to install your Xbox 360 wireless controller drivers on your PC to play 360 controller compatible games on PC. Okay, first things we need to do is click on this website which will be available for you down on the description. Select your operating system. Once your operating system is selected, come up with this software and drivers page here. Download the exe executable file. Once you download it there, you need to install the drivers. Uh, once you double clicked there, you come up with this thing here. You need to accept the agree agreement this will be your terms and conditions page click next installing files please wait Once you've installed your 360 drivers, click finish. Now your 360 drivers have been installed 100%, but we still need to install your receiver drivers. To do so, please click start, right click computer, click manage once we've done that we come with the computer management um, section over here you will have three boxes I want you to click on the first box of menus device manager Once we're in Device Manager, you love on the second box menus all these pull down options. You love once in other devices. Pull down the other devices. You'll have come up with an option in unknown device. Right click unknown device. Update driver software, which will be the first option from there. From there, you'll have two options. You want to click the second option, so you've got search automatic particularly for updated driver software and browse my computer you wanna pr browse your computer for driver software and just click let me pick from the list don't click next just this option and then you come up with all these other options here what you need to click on is Microsoft Common Controller for Windows Class click next and then you come up with these options here you want the first option which will be Xbox 360 controller for Windows version 2.1.0.1349 on the 13th of August 2009 click next installing this device driver is not recommended because Windows cannot verify it is compatible with your hardware. Just click yes and now it's been installed. The receiver has been installed but it will not work until you restart your computer. So 
please restart your computer once you click close and exit it the management once your computer has been restarted the only thing left to do is sync your controller with the receiver okay to do so what you could do click the Xbox guide button which is right in the middle of the Xbox 360 controller by there you see it flashing like so and then all you have to do is just click the sync bar which is the button right by there just click that as you can see that starts to spin and then what you got to do was that's that you got to click the sync bar on the receiver so that button right by there and now you're fully synced your controller with the receiver to test that it works properly all you have to do is on the Xbox 360 controller click the guide button and you come up with a battery meter as I will show you now as you can see it's fully registered and working I hope you've enjoyed. I hope this helps. Take care. Good luck.